Before we get into solving problems related to absolute maximum and minimum, let's look into things which we should remember in solving such problems. So the first thing which comes to my mind is that the function f of x which is given within an interval where x belongs to an interval between a and b, a function given like this will always have extrema. Extrema means absolute maximum and absolute minimum. will always have absolute x max, a maximum or absolute minimum value, right? Now, is this statement true? Is this statement true? It has one restriction. You should remember, this statement is not true. Okay, sometimes it can be asked in true and false question, right? It is not true and it has a restriction. Now, can you tell me what is the restriction? The restriction is that f of x should be continuous in given boundary, in given boundary. That is the restriction. Well, sometimes there is a confusion also and the confusion is Confusion. Let me write confusion here. So the restriction is that f of x should be continuous in a in, in given boundary. That is between a and b, the function should be continuous. Now I'll talk about the confusion. Confusion is some books have referred to this as that f dash of x uh, should be should be known or there should be a value f dash x should be known or should exist I should say should be known or let's say exists when x belongs to the domain a to b right so so that is I should call it a confusion now so for me I see the statement as that that f dash x uh, should exist and for me this statement is wrong it may not exist even then even then you will have absolute maximum minimum and let me give you an example i can give you a lot of examples here but let me give you some very simple examples and the one uh, graphic will make things very simple. For example, uh, let me have a function like this. Right? This is kind of a x to the power of 2 over 3 transformed. Right? Now as you see, if I restrict the domain of this function within the interval a to b, let's say this is my a and this is my point b, then within this domain of a to b, I do have a minimum and that value where f dash x is undefined. You see that? This point here, this point here is a point where f dash x is undefined. Any cusp or corner. Do you see that? So we are dealing with cusp or corner. Do you understand? So let me write here, for example, cusp or corner, right? That means I could have given you a function like this also, right? So in that case, we do have a function where at this particular point, f dash x is undefined. But as you can see, we have extreme maximum in this case, right? This is absolute maximum. Is it okay? And this one is absolute minimum value. Is it okay? So we do have absolute maximum and minimum values even though the derivative f dash x does not exist at these points, right? So that is, I call it a confusion, right? So for me, let me recap this. Important thing is that a function given a restricted domain will have 
will always have extreme maximum or minimum provided it qualifies this restriction that is f of x should be continuous in the given boundary condition now what do i mean by being continuous within the boundary condition for example if i have a function let's say 1 over x right now this is my 1 over x function and i restrict my domain let's say from a to b right now if i have this restricted domain from a to b as you can see the function is discontinuous in between now if the function is discontinuous in between then i cannot have really absolute maximum and minimum value using this particular algorithm that is what i'm trying to say so whenever you have a function which is discontinuous right of course if it is discontinuous then your derivative will also not be possible to find at x equals to zero right but by saying that you can't find derivative at zero we are actually eliminating such cases where cusp and corner could be there so i hope you get the point so for us better restriction here is that the function should be continuous within the given restricted domain if it is not continuous within the restricted domain then we cannot find absolute maximum or minimum condition right so that is what you take from here right i hope you understand so if i restrict this domain let us say if i move this point let me redraw this right the same function with a different domain so i will do it on this side and let me restrict this function this time on a domain where it is continuous for example this is a discontinuous function right but i say well let a and b be the values shown here let this be a and this be b in that case we are talking about a region between a and b which is continuous do you see that and so we do have a maximum and a minimum value now the value at a is the maximum value and value at b is the minimum value for this function within a domain bounded by a and b within which the function is continuous so that is what you have to remember when you solve problems in this chapter 3.2 maximum minimum on an interval you get my point so so when we will take up the examples we will take up cases where you have to figure out whether the algorithm works or not the reason is it should be continuous the reason is not that you cannot find derivative right in this case you can say that but if i give you example like absolute function or the radical roots then you can't even if you say that then you're wrong do you understand so that is you have to keep in mind so we'll go through those and then we'll take some examples where i'll just plot some graphs and you can figure out about the maximum minimum points and then we'll have some interesting word problems to deal with i hope you enjoy this review of the chapter thank you